Uh, Seth O'Byrne with the O'Byrne team of Pacific Sotheby's International Realty. Um, I've been in the business now for, uh, I think this is my 11th year, and I run a team of uh, seven agents and five support staff out of um, Symphony Towers downtown. My main takeaway is uh, excellent customer service is not convenient and it's not even that profitable. Mm. To be honest, I, th I think we're all business owners and most of the people up here work very hard to build their business to you know, the highest heights that they can build it, but along the way, um, you know, I think we have a tendency to look at the bottom line, look at what's profitable, communicate on the most necessary communication points, but forget sometimes, we all do this, I know I do this, and it's important, I, I learned a lot from that panel, that um, sometimes a conversation about nothing, like a Seinfeld kind of conversation, <laughs> can mean a lot to someone. Yeah. It doesn't have to be about when's the contingency removal date. It could be, how are you feeling today? Like, what's going on? How are you, how are, psychologically, what's going on right now? And, um, you know, the, that woman that was up here was so funny, um, had such a great personality about the, uh, the, uh, the fire alarm. Yeah. Um, you know, probably some of us kind of shrugged and go, that's a fire alarm. Like, anybody can fix that, right? <laughs> but the reality is, um, is it necessary? Is it in the contract that the realtor fixes it? No. But that's great customer service. You know, I think um, it's that kind of above and beyond that, that we all should keep on working And for. interestingly enough, when we went through and said, what's the expectation for you on a return phone call? It was like 24 hours pretty much across the board. Yeah. So if we can't do 24 hours, Right? That's just, the, the, yeah. we shouldn't be in the business, right? So, yeah, I mean, to me, I, I, what I took from that was the bar's not that, that high. If you're amazing, you stand out in this business for sure. You know, I was always so worried that checklists were going to cramp my style, that I was like the new school kid, because I came in when I was in my young 20s, and I was like, no, 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 I don't need checklists. Like, who needs checklists? But I read The E-Myth, which is a great book if you haven't read it, and in there, there's a quote from the guy who founded uh, IBM, Bill Watson. He said, in order to become a great company, we need to start acting like a great company before we ever became one. Mm -hmm. And I think organization is, you'll never, ever, you could have a flash in the pan month, but you'll never be a truly sustained top producer with r really good customer service unless you have a checklist. And as long as you, you know, it's like if you clean your room, you can go play. Like you can go have fun, you can put your own personality into the business, but you have to make sure that you clean your room. And that's what a checklist is. Um, one of the things I've instituted is, um, it's been, for me, I don't know about you guys through the recession, but it's kind of like the tale of two businesses. Um, we shrunk during the recession and then regrew our business. Um, and I first started hiring brand new agents because I like being able to train them, no bad habits, right? But the problem is, is handing off those clients that call in to brand new agents is bad. Um, partially because a lot of new agents get in and all they can think about is a first and second commission check. It's really hard to give customer service where you're worried about what your checking account balance is. And um, this go around, when I regrew the team, and anybody looking to regrow a team, I'd, I'd advise this, I looked at seasoned agents. Mm -hmm. I now hire people that are five years in the business or more. And um, you might not get the same splits with them, but the customer service is huge. And I kept on hearing this panel um, of consumers talk about how they did feel like they were passed off in some cases. And I think if you're being passed off to a seasoned agent, it doesn't feel like, it feels like true teamwork still. And um, I think that's important to consider if you are building a team. Just to answer that, it's, it's um, I think, um, you know, I, I say that I'm making all these assumptions about how you think about your business or how you guys think about your business, but I think I took a lot of my career not remembering that being good is important. Mm -hmm. That that whether it's a hundred thousand or a million, you have to be good. Like you have to work hard, and it is hard work. And I think we forget that. We sometimes, you know, we become focused on marketing. We become focused on systems, um, past referrals, prospecting. I'm a, pro a crazy prospector. I'm so focused on that, I forgot, wait, I gotta do my job well. And I think at the end of the day, any consumer wants a good job to be done. And my largest transaction came from a rental. It started out as a rental. I, I, I don't even know if I ever cashed that commission check. It's probably still in my like 2003 iMac desktop somewhere. I don't know, like I've never, I probably have never cashed it. And it was my largest transaction that came out of it. And it was such a good, I mean, karma exists in real estate. And I think, um, those smallest transactions are the most difficult, and if you do have a first-time home buyer specialist, um, the way I frame it when I meet with clients at that level is I go, this is traditionally a lot more work than the larger transactions. It's a lot more complicated. If you're buying a condo, you've got HOA delinquency rates, 
um, you know, owner occupancy issues, litigation against the building. You've got a lot. It's a high level agent to work those deals correctly. Um, I think you say, look, I've got someone who's available for you 100% of the time. Any other time you need me, you call me too. Here's my cell. You know, and I think, um, I think if you sell it as a benefit, and I think it truly is, yeah. um, the client will be happy.